I'm Joe Arena. Coming up at 5, we'll take you into this virtual production room and we'll tell you where it is. You might be surprised. That's coming up. He's about to take over the most important job in America, and several local students have brainstormed a creative way to show President-elect Barack Obama just how much they care about our country. News 4's Joe Arena reports. Change has come to this classroom at Amherst Middle School. These 7th and 8th graders aren't stuck behind their desks on most days lately. Instead, they're in front of the camera. It's now possible nowadays to have a school TV studio uh, from an affordable standpoint. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars. In fact, all you really need is a green screen, a common computer, and a camera like this one. And this week, Amherst Middle School's virtual classroom is working overtime. We wanted to take a field trip, a real field trip, to Washington for the inauguration. Money's tight, can't do it, so now we're taking a virtual field trip. Using green screen technology to make it appear they're in D.C. And this way, Rob's students can tell Barack Obama what their concerns are. I think that it's really cool that we can, like, talk to Barack Obama and hopefully he'll respond back. He just might because all of their messages will be posted on Obama's website, change.gov. We actually can kind of talk to President Obama. It's kind of cool mm -hmm. that he'll be able to hear what we're saying and that our opinion matters. And there was no lack of opinion, even from these seventh and eighth graders. I'm very glad Obama plans to make the U.S. a leader on climate change. I think the idea of reforming the No Child Left Behind Act is a great idea. It's interesting to see there's even opposing viewpoints within our own classroom, and it's good for the kids to kind of justify the reasons to one another. And to the next president of the United States. Joe Arena, News 4 at 5.